Okay guys, what's up? It's your boy, the Avenger Fox, back with another video. Dungeon guide for beginners, let's dive right into it and let's not waste a lot of time. So what are we going to talk about? About just the basic mechanics of dungeons and then some tips at the end on how to progress faster and efficient. So if you end up enjoying or if it helped you out, consider subscribing or leaving a like and a comment that it helps you or things you have as tips for new players down in the comments let's dive right into it and good luck in your dungeon journey and i don't know why i keep disappearing if i'm zooming in but yeah let's go okay let's start every dungeon journey starts with choosing your class there are five classes healer mage berserker archer and tank and every class has a different meaning and a different specialty you gotta see it for yourself you can click on the class then see the abilities you can see the things they do you know, you gotta see for yourself what class you like the most and you can up them by playing dungeons. So, your catacombs level also really important, it boosts your stats and it's the kind of the most important thing about dungeons. But the only way you can level it up is by playing dungeons itself. So let's see. So as we will talk about, in every room you will have to do some stuff and in the end of the room you get a score. The higher the score the better, so S plus is the most of the highest score. And then there's S, A, B, C, D. So in floor 1 to 3, 4, I mean, you will try to get an S. Because that's the best score, but the higher you get an S+, plus, you get the obsidian chest. But that's a little bit more advanced. So how to get score? Clear all rooms and do all secrets. And don't die because that will give you less score. Let's go. So as you join your dungeon, normally you start with 5 people, but I joined it alone. So you gotta click on this smart guy and start the dungeon and then get ready with the class you wanna be. You can select your class. I'm selecting tank, just like always. Then you see the first floor. There are two kind of ways to clear the brown floors. So you will see mobs with a star next to his name. In this room, it is a mini boss. So, oh no, it are the mobs. So you gotta kill every mob with a star. And in some rooms there are mini bosses, you gotta be careful for those guys because they are pretty strong normally. So yeah, if you kill every mob with a star, then you get these. A wither key, a secret thingy that gives you boosts, and then the room will be a white check. This is very important because then you have cleared the room. The basics. There are also some secrets that you will claim, but that we will see later. Then you go to the next room and you will see again mobs with a star next to his name. You gotta slap those mobs again and get the secret. So, and then there are the second kind of brown rooms with the bosses. So as you see, this boss got a star next to his name, so you gotta kill it to get his stuff. I killed it pretty fast because it's an easy floor for me, but these bosses are really, really hard. So you gotta be careful. And then this room is also clear. Then there's one more special brown room. The round room right before the blood room the blood room is a red room if you kill that boss or that minions with a star you will have the blood key like you see here and that way you can open the blood room so the blood room is the most important room but that's the room you must clear to go to the boss here if you kill all mob you can go to the boss so the watch the watcher will spawn some undead guys that you gotta kill they are kind of hard so be careful if you're new don't go it alone I recommend doing it one or two guys so yeah it takes some time for the mobs to spawn so in the meanwhile you can do other rooms or get some secrets that we will talk about so as you see on the map there are lots of different rooms the brown ones which we already talked about and then there is the yellow one this is kind of a special room because there is a boss this is a stronger boss than normal so you gotta be careful for this one and mostly kill it with one or two guys but for me in floor one it is really easy but be careful this is a room that you must clear and it's kind of an easy one so yeah kill the boss one or two just be safe because you don't die then there are the purple ones these are the puzzles there are different puzzles which we're gonna talk about or not you can see it for yourself this one here is the creeper so you gotta connect these blocks with each other and get the beams to go through the creeper so this is a kind of an easy one and you can't mess this up but there are some secrets where you gotta be more careful with because you can mess those up and then they're gone and lost so you won't get a score so like this one you 
go and talk to the guys an antique chest and imagine me getting the wrong chest. Okay. Imagine me getting the wrong chest. Oh, bro. Imagine me getting the wrong chest. Okay, come on. Imagine me getting the wrong chest. Then it's yikes and the room will have a big red cross above it and in the depth you can see who screwed that room. So you see the Avenger Fox, three weirdos failed, so big cross and in the map it doesn't load it yet. But then you can't get an S plus anymore and you will lose some score. Then uh, there's the last room, the red blood room. You gotta kill all mobs like this and then the door or the ways to the boss will open and you will get some secrets like this decent and then you go to the blood room to the big big boss in for one is bonzo in for two it's scar but yeah for three is professor atc and so further so yeah bonzo will run and if you kill him for me it's a one tap he will come back again Hopefully he won't run and we can kick him fast enough, but I don't know. Okay, we got him. So yeah, then you will get a score. So as I talked about at the start, killing all rooms, not dying and everything boosts your score. So that's pretty decent. So yeah, we got an A, it's okay. And then there's a free chest you can get and there's some decent loot or not. But you gotta learn that if it's good or not. But most of the time take the free chest. So yeah. That's how you clear room. So, if you clear the room, you will get some stuff, which I really recommend using at the start, but if you got some decent dungeon armor and gear like me, you can go to Malik and salvage it for some dust. So, you gotta sell it all, and then you will get some dust, as you see in the chat. So, like this, and with the dust, you can buy some decent, decent upgrades. There's the Essence Shop, and there's the other Essence Shop. So the withered essence shop it's really decent and the stats come in real in the real game too but i wouldn't really recommend upping it because wither essence is really needed to up your weapons there's the undead essence shop which is really good i really recommend upgrading this one because it gives better loot out of the chests and upgrading this one the other ones aren't that needed but if you want to up it like me it's a little bit for more for the end and the harder games, but you can up it. So yeah. So I recommend doing Bonzo five times to get the Bonzo mask and then hop on to floor two. You can five star the Bonzo mask and give it some enchants, or I really recommend that. You can up it here in the essence shop and then upgrade it five times with on that essence that you earned plus one for one. Then hop on to floor two. It's a little bit harder, but if you did the bonzo 50 times and uh, it's definitely doable get some armor from the drops of the minions because it will be affected by your catacomb level then do scarf 50 times and get the scarf pieces i recommend doing scarf s's get the score s and buy every scarf pieces or scarf talisman that you get and make the legendary because it will help you in the long term because it gives plus 8, 6% experience. So really, really important in the long run because 6% makes a lot of difference. Nice here. I also recommend having a good pet like a Yeti pet. It's really expensive. So if you're like a beginner player, a blue whale, rare, rare rarity is good. So the blue rarity, it will make your survivability a lot, lot harder. Of course, a legendary one is better, but really recommend at least a rare one and you won't die that much so yeah guys good luck so this is how a normal dungeon looks like you with five people you join you get ready you know the classes are picked and then you enter and just do as i did so clear all rooms do everything do the 50 floor one completions do the 50 or two completions and you will be ready to start your good good dungeon journey so you slap you go kill them everything do as i said and guys good luck in your dungeon career or dungeon journey and consider subscribing because i do some i do a lot of live streams where i do free carries so do the notifications on everything and good luck in your dungeon journey